Hey guys, Sam here again. So today I kind of wanted to talk about, you know, the whole health club philosophy and kind of what we believe and our goals to get people healthy. Um, so the first thing I want to address is the difference between two words at whole health club. So um, we describe our methods and our dietary beliefs as plant-based. And a lot of people would know that as vegan. And to me, those are two separate terms. Vegan to me is much more of a cultural word. And, um, you know, I have nothing against vegans. They just approach things a little differently. And again, when I say cultural, I mean they abstain from animal products in every part of their life. Whether that be through makeup, clothes, you know, the car they drive, any of those things would, would be vegan. And the vegans tend to be there or describe themselves as a vegan um, when they are doing it for ethical reasons or, or you know, re reasons for their own morality of why they're not doing what they're doing. Whereas plant-based at Whole Health Club just means a diet that is plant-centric as opposed to the standard American diet we grew up on, which is an animal-centric diet. And by that, I mean the main focus of each meal as an animal. You know, for breakfast in America, that means eggs, an animal, cheese comes from an animal or a breakfast meat comes from an animal and I mean that's how I grew up was on those as a breakfast staple um, and then you go to lunch right it's you know maybe some sort of sandwich even if it is a salad it's a chicken Caesar salad sal uh, um, salad or a you know turkey sandwich or you know a sub with meat in the middle and so it's again an animal centered even if there is vegetables on the side in America it's animal centered and then the same thing with dinner, you know, in the Midwest, we grew up with like pot roast, um, ribs, and then, yeah, we'd have something on the side, but again, that's secondary, that wasn't plant focused. At Whole Health Club, all we want to do is get people to shift their thinking from an animal centric diet to, you know, a plant centric diet, which means plants are at the center of your plate, where the majority by far of what you consume calorically is plants. And, you know, so we're not of the belief that what we're trying to start here is going to get everybody to eat only plants. That would be pretty cool. Um, but really, we're very open to all types of eaters. And our biggest goal is, you know, trying to do little short meal swaps. So, you know, we'll prepare a lasagna that's plant-based. And, you know, if our client's like, wow, that's really good, all we'll ask them to do is replace their current lasagna that they're making with ours. And, you know, so, so mild swaps and we're not trying to, you know, ostracize people or even ever look down on them because most people here, we all started on an animal based diet until the information was given to us. So at Whole Health Club, we believe in teaching plant based methods to health. And what that does for you is a lot of things. It eliminates you having to count calories. It eliminates you having to count macronutrients, you know, unless you're trying to be a bodybuilder or do anything like that. Um, and, and it kind of just makes eating simpler and all of this confusion about what I need. And all, all we really say is you need plants and more of them. The more the merrier. So we're about including more plants. You know, a lot of people want to exclude meat and exclude dairy and exclude anything. And, you know, you tell someone not to do something, they want to do it. My favorite analogy, and if any of my clients watch this, they've heard me say it. If I tell you not to push the button, what's the first thing you want to do? Push the button. I mean, if you're like me, someone says, don't do something, well, oh, okay, the stove's hot, well, psh, let me touch it, you know? And that's how I work, and I think how subconsciously that's how most of us work, especially when introduced to such a new idea like plant-based is, you know, if you, if you say don't eat the meat, well, now you're focused on what not to do rather than what to do. And so at Whole Health Club, it's about inclusion, it's about simplicity, um, and then the big thing is, we don't necessarily like the word diet because at Whole Health Club, diet just means what you're supposed to eat. Um, and that's what the word diet actually means. Uh, companies like Diet Coke have hijacked the word and have taught us to believe that diet means restrictive or less. And I'm, I'm here to dispel that myth. That is not what diet means. That is what diet means to corporations. Um, you know, if I ask you, what's a koala's diet? You don't tell me, oh, well, it's, you know, restricted and they can't do this, and they can't do that. No, you tell me what they're supposed to eat or what they eat, and that's, and that's their diet. Um, and so Whole Health Club, we believe that, you know, humans are made to eat plants. Our, our, our digestive system is, is matched up with plant eaters. Our digestive system looks eerily similar to the great apes, which eat all plants, with the exception of some bugs here and there. Um, you know, and so 
our teeth. We don't have incisors in the same way that carnivores have incisors, the same way that a lion or big cats have incisors. That's, that's not what we have. You know, we, we have things that are, are made to pry stuff open. We have these beautiful fingers for nuts and seeds and, and berries and picking. And so, you know, the diet I, we believe that we're supposed to eat is majority of plants. The next issue that usually comes up is, well, hey, humans have eaten meat before. Yep, we have. That's because humans, we're badass. You know, we can survive amazing things and our body can, can you know, find use out of the useless, you know, like meat. And, and, and these things. And so these are survival tactics. These are not thriving tactics. These are, these are things we did in times of need when there wasn't plants. Um, now we live in a, in a great society where agriculture is year round and there's constant plants available for everyone. And so we really just want to encourage people to take advantage of this new information that we give and, you know, Try to eat more plants and move people towards eating more plants. Even if that starts with one meal a day that you dedicate to plant-based or one day a week that you dedicate to eating plants. Um, you know, the, the things that will do for your health are awesome. And then there's the residual things. Like our second favorite point to talk about is the environment. And, you know, sustainability is a big issue right now. As the population grows, you know, there's less resources. And so one thing probably the single largest thing an individual themselves can do to have an impact is go plant-based for a day. Doing things like going plant-based for a day save 1,100 gallons of water a day. Or you know, you talk about limited resources for people to eat, going plant-based for a day saves 45 pounds of grain. That's enough grain to feed a village. Um, you know, and, and a huge one is obviously the deforestation, specifically the Amazon, right? The lungs of our earth, what helps us breathe. You can save 35 square feet of rainforest a day by going plant-based. And so I think if environmentalists and people were more aware of the impact they could have with such a simple change, just, just changing their plate from, from a meat-centric to a plant-centric plate, you know, the impact they have on themselves and the others around them and the world around them are immense and and it just feels good you know to to have that impact while doing something so simple as eating um, and the reason we approach eating is because no matter what it's it's something we have to do every day uh, you know you, you have to eat three meals a day if not more and so if we can change that eating to not eating less but making it to our advantage by trying to consume as much plants as po as many plants as possible or as much good food as we can Eating becomes a completely th different thing in this society. It, it's not something that that's, you know, we can't do or that is, you know, looked down as something that's keeping you from your physical peak performance. It's, it's something that's enhancing that. And, you know, that's really what we want to do. And lastly, um, we really just want people to understand the value of cooking again. And cooking does so many things from making it easier to keep a grip on your health, uh, makes it easier, you know, to teach your kids to be healthy because they're going to see you doing it. You're going to be more aware of what's in your food and you'll save a ton of money. So in the end, we want to teach you guys how to cook. So feel free to check out our website. We've got awesome recipes on there. Check out our Facebook. Feel free to interact with us, both wholehealthclub.com, our Facebook, Whole Health Club. And again, thanks for watching guys and tune in next week to learn more about uh, Whole Health Club and me. Thanks.